Kickflip skate support, let's go. All right, thanks so much for sending your video. So on this practice step, I would suggest stepping off with your back foot and landing with your front foot. That's gonna help you a lot because what you're doing here is kicking and then jumping down with your front foot, which is you're actually learning how to do it incorrectly. And you're like, it's frustrating because in your head you can be thinking, wow, I got the board to flip, I'm almost gonna land but you're actually doing an incorrect flick motion. It's going down a little bit. Um, it's not terrible, um, but we do, need to, we do need to fix it to keep that front foot above your board. Uh, so watch my front foot right here. It's gonna drag up and then flick diagonally off the side of the board. And the thing to understand about the flick is it is all in the ankle. But notice that at no time during that was my front foot below my board at all. So you have to when you're practicing, especially when you're first learning, because you can practice hundreds of times and you're actually practicing an incorrect motion by pushing your front foot down underneath the board. While it's tricky, like I said, because you can think, oh, well, that's how you flip the board. But you see here, I actually flip the board with the motion of my ankle. So my back ankle pops down, my front ankle pops up right there. It flips, catch it with the back foot. The other thing that I really want to point out, and I have no idea if you have all the earlier basic tricks, but if you don't yet, I highly recommend you learn Ollie, which I'm sure you have. I'm sure you, you got good Ollies. Front side 180, back side 180, pop shove, and front shove. And then you can do heel flip. I don't know if that's harder or easier, but then roll into the kick flip. You might think, well, what does a pop shove it and a front side shove it and a back side 180 have to do with a kick flip? Well, good question. doesn't have anything to do with a kickflip, but it has to do with you getting more ability to control your board and get your board to do what you want it to do. Um, so I hope that helps. All of those tricks that I laid out are the gradient scale of tricks that are given in skateboarding made simple volume one. Um, for everybody out there who's used that video, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So keep practicing, keep working on those practice steps. Like I said, step off your back foot, flick with your front foot, keep it on top of the board, and let's go.